Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of New Girl Throne Ultra. We're going to jump in as Weaponsmith this time because he is by far one of my favourite characters ever. I'm going to do a restart as him straight off the bat because I want a, um, I want a golden weapon to start with. There you go. What the fuck? Go is this a nuke launcher? <laughs> Have I got a golden fucking nuke launcher? Yes, I do. Oh, amazing. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I've ever started with a golden nuke launcher before. This has got to be one of the rarest golden weapons. My god, this thing could be a hell of a lot of fun with, um, with explosive immunity, my god. It really could be. I, I could, I could definitely see myself doing a full run with this. I'm gonna keep it for now. <laughs> I realise I can, I can weaponsmith it into something else if I want to. Wait, look. Nuke? <laughs> what, the, what was all that about, nuke? I mean, it's good to know the nuke doesn't one-shot me. I kind of half expected it would, to be honest. Lovely stuff. Okay, and then we got this bad boy as well. <laughs> I love that thing. My god. We got pop rifle here. Boom. <laughs> oh, man. Bloody nuke launcher, baby. I love it. Right, um... Let's go with last wish for some safety, considering the uh, shenanigans that we are unfolding at the moment. Look at you, dude. 60... I'm surprised the new launcher. I mean, obviously, the explosion's huge, but I'm surprised it only does 65 damage. I kind of expected it to be more, to be honest. What we got now? Laser pistol. I think I'm going to keep crafting until this weapon's really good, and then combine it with the new launcher and see what we end up getting. I think boiling veins is, uh, is almost a necessity here. Don't think we're going to get much going without it. I don't know where that fire came from, I'll be honest. Is that something to do with boiling veins? Um, I don't know, maybe maybe it's like some unique effect of it. Cool. I'm liking this so far, though. This is uh, a good old bit of fun. Get back here, you. I do love having the golden skin for this guy as well. Maybe it's just that explosions make fire now? Honestly, don't know. Piece of time, I think we should go for that. Hand cannon. Micro SMG. I don't know how this works. I'm gonna go like that. Combine. Okay, it does, it does still have a curse on it. I thought it would. So, I think when we get hit by an explosion, we produce fire. I think that's the way this works. Yes, that is exactly how this works. Okay, that's kind of good to know. Plasma rifle. Okay, I like that. That's a, that's a fun way of playing around this. Um, probably go with uh, strong spirit here. Okay, just about lived through that there. That was a bit sketchy. Don't really know how I'm alive right now. But he is most certainly not. We got bullet crash going on now. <laughs> I'm liking this a lot. Right, what tier is that? We got, we're up to tier 9. I think once we get past tier 10, we'll combine the nuke launcher. And go from there. We're almost out of ammo on this bad boy. Actually, we, we literally are. I think it's three ammo per shot for this thing. Um, yeah, I think we go for that. The bullet crash here is kind of interesting. I don't know when we want to be using it, though. Oh, my God. I think whenever we take any damage, we, uh, we release that fire. Which is rather nice. Okay, I would very much like um, some ammo for my launcher before anything else. Toxic cannon. That's tier 11. Okay, let's combine these and see what we get. We got the Kraken grenade launcher, which is probably pretty good. Yeah, I like this a lot. Kraken grenade launcher seems top tier. 
I am in a good position here. I'm not particularly happy with my ammo situation right now, though. Um, let's take impact wrists. Oh, yeah, my ammo situation is pretty bad. I'm going to need... Yeah, the game is not, not very forthcoming with the ammo right now. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Okay, let, let me... Let me get the goddamn ammo. Okay. It's all right. That reset was a, a bit of a bit of a mishap, but I think mostly okay. Let's, let's take throne butt again here. Uh, I'm gonna take glass arm, ecstatic fists. I think I'm not gonna take a crown here. Lovely stuff. Man, just the, the the reach of the of the Kraken shots is just insane. Well, what's what's all these shots? Is this new? Oh, this is new. When did this change? I to be fair, this boss was fairly easy to avoid his shot, so I kind of get it. It's added some like meteorites. What would I, you call them? Something along those lines. Pretty cool. I like it. Um. Let's go with the elbow, scarier face on top of that. Good stuff. It's been a good reset. We've got a lot more damage now. And charge flat cannon I will take and grind up into box gun. Tier of box gun isn't exactly what I'm looking for, but thank you. This is going pretty amazingly, to be honest. I think the uh, the slaps are also getting that scarier face damage bonus. Man, this this Kraken launcher is truly amazing. What I get there? Heavy pop rifle. Auto burst. Okay. Um, I kind of don't really know here. Maybe just gamma guts for safety, and then we'll go with shotgun on this thing because that seems fun. There we go. Oh, what was that little imp dude? I saw a little imp dude. I think I've seen him before, but I don't remember what he does. Okay, we're gonna take some fat damage here. Good, good. A little bit tricky, but overall not too bad. Frost Blower. We got ourselves the Explosive Morpho Ray. I like the way it tells you it's a burst weapon, um, so if it works with a mutation. Affects burst stuff. It's good to know. Okay, good. Ammo keeps coming. I mean, this thing is quite ammo hungry, so... We do need more methods of gaining ammo realistically to keep this going, because as you can see right now, ammo on this thing isn't the best. We got ourselves a lightning hammer. Can't imagine the lightning hammer being amazing. It's tier 13, so maybe the lightning just spreads a lot further than I'm expecting it would. Eh, it doesn't seem that good. Okay. Not too bad. And it is infinite ammo as well, which could save us in a pickle. We're in a particularly bad situation. It's not so bad. But I just want to be wary. I don't want to overly rely on having that as a backup, because it doesn't seem super good. To the extent that I'm going to swap it out, actually. Infinite Slugger. I mean, that, that potentially solves some ammo problems. Didn't really want it to go down like that there, but there you go. And what sort of damage is this thing doing? 32. 
49. Okay, maybe the infinite slugger is something we keep as well. I mean, it is cursed, so we kind of have to keep it in that way. But it's doing good damage, and it literally has infinite ammo, so... Blood launcher. I'm going to get rid of the Kraken weapon now. Oh, wait. I don't think I can do that with a cursed weapon. I think I have to keep this. Okay, let's let's keep it then for now. Um... I'm going to go Sharp Stress. Auto Grenade Shotgun. Ooh. The Infinite Slugger is good, but this seems like it could be fun. Ghost Blade. I mean, there you go. We got something that's potentially better and infinite ammo as well. Ghost Blade is tier 15, so we'll see how that goes. It seems like it could be quite good. Basically, it's like a double melee swipe, right? 52 damage. Okay, this thing's doing quite a lot of damage here. This thing, this thing kills it. I don't know how much damage I need to do to this thing to kill it. A thousand so far. Okay, it's about 1,200, maybe a little bit less. A little bit more, sorry. It's not too bad. We'd run out of ammo quite quickly there, though. Take Rabbit's Paw then, I guess. Alright, we'll see how this goes. The reach on this thing's amazing. We don't even have the weapon mute that adds the reach, so kind of impressed. I've got to say. Okay, that was quick. We are on loop now, and we are almost level 10 as well. I think I'll use this thing for now. Yeah, this thing's amazing. With all these extra damage things we've got going on as well. We just need uh, trigger fingers, maybe. That'd make this thing amazing. Like, it's already very good, but it would make it truly amazing if we got trigger fingers on top. Right, let's have a look at what we've got going on here. In every area, a weapon mod spawns double weapon mod effectiveness, and combining a weapon adds a mod to it is pretty interesting. When upgrading a weapon, you also gain two armor. Pretty good. Increase reload speed and reduce ammo cost for all weapons, excluding melee. Decreases melee swing rate. And all weapons give health, rads, and more ammo for all types. Picking up a weapon spawns lightning. I think I'm going to go with that first one, you know. Um, with the weapon mod effectiveness. I mean, reload speed on that thing seems useful. We'll uh, combine those two and see what we end up getting. Don't need this ammo. We got the line grenade. And we get the devastator. Hmm, kind of interesting. And we've got the explosive Waza rifle. Waza rifle, I think it was meant to be. Mm. That seems particularly quite good. Oh, I can hold it down. I see. Okay. Okay, I think I'll stick with this thing for a little while here and have the melee as a backup, don't you? Um, We'll do that. I do need to use my melee a lot for uh, knocking shots back and stuff. No way! Oh, for some reason I assumed that wasn't going to drive as far as it did. One moment. That was that was a good one. Um, right. I'm going to do another one as this guy. Uh, have we unlocked all the skins for this guy? I think we have, haven't we? Oh, the sea skin. Oh, the sea skin's pretty awesome. Um, honestly, I'm kind of I'm kind of liking sticking with the golden nuke launcher. I wonder what's the highest grade golden weapon. Let's, let's try out the Golden Yo-Yo and see if it's high grade. So, 20 was the highest we've seen so far. So, that's 19. Um, wait, no. Okay, there you go, yeah. But I, I, think, I think it is the highest, you know. The Golden Nuke Launcher. So, I think I will stick with that bad boy. 
Oh, I really like this skin. This skin looks awesome. Um... Yeah, I'm going to do a run where I just constantly merge every single time. I like doing those runs. Um, Puffy Cheek seems fun with a lot of different weapons, so I'll take that. Being able to auto-charge a shot is lovely. Get off me. Oh, you bitch. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, for God's sake, I keep pressing thingy instead of restart. Okay, I it, it, it can deal 8 damage if you're close enough. Good to know. We got ourselves a splinter pistol. Definitely not quite as good as a nuke launcher. Damn, this might be my favourite skin in the entire game, you know. This is a really cool looking skin. I, I, I very much like it. You know what might be a good idea? Can we start with a crown? I'll see if we can start with a crown after this. If not, I'll uh, grab a crown this run so we can start with one. Ooh, hello. We get ourselves a spiral yo-yo gun. Now we've got ourselves a super splinter gun. Nice. Um, trigger fingers is always fun. Just gotta be a little careful about how we fire this thing, because it does use a lot of ammo per shot. Make sure we get killing at least sort of two or three enemies per shot if we can. Unlike that there. Oh, dude, come on. How did you... How'd that miss you? We get ourselves the disc eraser. Oh, lord, that seems like it could be pretty ho horrible for us. <laughs> it literally just fires a line of discs. I love that. I love that. That's so dangerous. <laughs> oh, what a deadly horrible thing here. Nothing survives this. Just nothing. Imagine this with like all the other stuff we had on that disc run before. My god, it'd be amazing. We got ourselves the quadruple flame shotgun. Gotta love that. Um, I think second stomach would probably be a good idea here. Ooh, I love the inverted area here. My god, the range on that is outstanding. Also, the flames last a good while too. I'm just ignoring the boss for now until it becomes a necessity to... Okay. D okay. Word of advice. Never ignore that boss, because that boss is just insanely overtuned. <laughs> Still, I will stand... I will, I will die on that hill that that boss needs changing. Disco Racer again, right off the bat. Lovely stuff. I'd love to build around this. That'd be quite fun. I would love to build around that. There's one thing to build around it already. <laughs> oh, this is... That was like the shortest stage ever. What the hell? This could be fun. Dense? Dense gun. Oh, we had this before. Yeah, I remember this. Um, We will merge these two together. Grenade strike launcher. What does this do? Have I had this before? Oh, yes, I have. I have had that before. Oh, oh, the split. That's evil. So because it's a disc gun, the disc can hurt me. It automatically means the splinters can also hurt me. What the fuck? So anything the disc gun produces also gains the ability to deal self-damage. No! That was fun. Got ourselves the mini rocket gun already. Oh my lord, that thing's fast. Does this have any herming on it? Can't quite tell. 
Mini rocket gun doesn't seem that good, to be honest. Kind of hard to hit things with it. Obviously, it's not got a big explosion radius either. I'd say it's actually not even close to the quality that it says it is. Lightning rifle, however. Morph hammer. Why does morph hammer... T so, why is morph hammer an ammo weapon, but lightning hammer isn't? I don't understand, game. Plasma laser rifle. Seems pretty gnarly. I just love this character. You just get to see so many weapons. Like, these are weapons that I don't think I've ever picked up before. And considering my playstyle is typically, like, find a good gun and stick with it, it's nice to play a character where I'm changing guns all the time and it's actually valuable. There's actually reason to do so. Super Splinter Yo-Yo. Um... That's pretty interesting. So I, I just, just become this walking god of damage. I like that. Seems a little dangerous, but I like it. Swarm Bomb. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, see, these can't, the swarms aren't hitting me anymore. Yeah, this is, this is good. That's a lot of swarms to be firing, man. Swarms go quite far as well. They have quite a lot of range to them. And they multi-target as well. They don't all just swoon in on one enemy. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. and grab all these first. <laughs> it's blowing up the cars and everything. I love this. This is great. This with bonus damage, like scarier face and all that other jazz that we've shown before would be, I think, pretty amazing. So I'm going to try and grab those if I can. Oh, here we go. No, why did you pick up those other guns? Damn it. It's time to merge. Good old auto frost flare gun. Can't go wrong. But I will constantly be changing. Super eraser. Oh my god. The ammo consumption is insane. Like, I think it's nine per shot, which is, uh... Not too feasible for us, for the most part. Like, literally one ammo pickup doesn't even clear it. Where, where's our ammo at, game? Okay, let's just go through here, because... <laughs> okay, this is not good. I think I'm dead just due to lack of ammo. Where's my next chest? Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Unfortunately, it's thingy though. It's a cursed weapon, so... Not super valuable for us, but we've got the energy shank gun. Which I think is pretty good. I think is pretty goddamn good. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I'll take this, because it's an energy weapon, so why not? Although, yeah, it does use energy ammo, good. I wonder how much percentage it does increase your energy damage by. So I don't actually know. Taking damage I shouldn't really be taking here, but I think it's okay. Can uncurse this weapon now, which is nice. Uh, I want to try something. If I go here, maybe. Can I grab... Duh, duh, duh. No ammo drops, more weapon drops. I know that sounds risky, but if I get enough weapon drops, it should be good, right? And I still get ammo chests as well, so I'm not completely without ammo.
Oh man, I'm getting shit on right now. Hyper Plasma Cannon. We're up to tier 16 at the moment. Um, I think I'm going to go with that for more ammo chests. Oh shit, okay. Not really what I was expecting, but I'll take it. Smart Minigun. What Smart Minigun? 17, dude. We're getting up there in the tiers. What does smart minigun mean? Oh fuck, that guy lobbed a car at me. Was it just... Oh, it literally just auto-fires at the closest enemy. And it has insane fire rate. I see now. Disperse Grenade Launcher. That seems like something that could easily get me killed. Let's just fire one over here, shall we, and see what happens. Oh yeah, that's, uh... That's dangerous. I'm actually not that strong. We got ourselves the Stabinator. Oi! <laughs> I like that. Right, I'm gonna go through here. Try this out. Stabinator seems good. I, this is a weapon I've never seen before and I quite like. Use it for as long as I can until there's no ammo left and then I think we go and change weapon. Um, trigger fingers I think works for us here. It's a lot of poison. Wait, how have I got down to tier 8? How did this happen? How did I get down to tier 8? What happened? I'm really not sure what's going on right now. now. Chill out, you. How, how am I meant to fucking hit you? You just keep moving. Literally, how am I meant to hit this guy? This is, this is some bullshit. How do I hit him? This is fucking crazy. How the fuck do I hit this guy? Stop doing that! What the fuck was that? Ugh. Nuclear throwing is some bullshit sometimes. How are you meant to hit that guy? He just, the moment I fire at him, he just fucking teleports. It ain't fair, I tell you. And also, why did my weapon all of a sudden just become, like, tier 8 all the way down from 17? What, what, what happened there? That was also some bullshit. Bouncer flat cannon.
Take bolt marrow for our bolt inclined weaponry. How did you not die? Come on now. Okay. And then we got charge flat cannon as well, lovely. Ooh, mega shot. <laughs> I like that. That with uh, the bounty of shots could be really, really good. <laughs> it just did a flat 100 damage to him. I like that. We got ourselves Splinter Spear Launcher. Which fire splinters and a spear, I'm guessing. We have Bolt Marrow right now, so this is a good weapon for us. Can easily kill quite a lot with this. But I will keep switching it up anyways. Laser minigun. Rhino skin. Probably missing that last time. I think in the future with this character, I'm going to start with that crown that I picked up that gives you more weapon drops. Because picking up the weapons does give you ammo, so it's not like you'd be super starved for ammo. Ooh, we've got a bubbler. Bubbler's are usually pretty fun. Although it is cursed now. Yeah, the bubbles are pretty interesting. are a little bit ammo hungry as you can see there. But it does kind of let you just like walk through the fucking valley of the shadow of death. Auto flame shotgun. Like it. I like it. And we'll go through to the uh, inverted place. Throwing butt yes please. Never really remember what's in store for us in the inverted areas. Some of them are like way harder and some of them are just like a bit different. Guy firing explosive shots at me is definitely harder. Oh my lord. <laughs> what in the fuck? Anyways, I think we'll leave it there for now. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.